Now, what action can we expect against the Vice Chancellor of the Kanu University? Whatever law provides. I have no personal agenda. But um, I was, uh, although I had already stated the appointment, but the case is so patent, open and shut case, that even High Court is stated the order. Yeah. And not only that, three months before, four, or four months maybe, three months possibly, the vice chancellor, why I call this vice chancellor that he has a criminal mindset? Why I call him? He habitually, habitually breaks the law. He constituted, the, the, the provision of the act is so clear, vice chancellor will nominate the members. And he misled the syndicate into uh, exercising that power. Somebody aggrieved. I was not even aware. Somebody aggrieved went to the High Court and High Court set aside his order. He, uh, you know, 2019, why 2019 we discuss now, to, why I mentioned it? I mentioned it because Irfan Habib came, he started defending. He said, I said, this conspiracy was hatched. I did not even name him. And from Aligarh, he's saying that the academics do not hatch conspiracies. Then academics assault the governor. You can see the video, run the video again. He not only charged towards me, he was sitting on this side. I, I'm, when I, they flouted everything. Governor program, minute to minute program is issued. It is written there, yes. no departure will be allowed. Irfan Habib was allotted two minutes. He spoke for more than 30 minutes. I was, I was made to sit there for more than one and a half hour listening to their speeches which were highly critical and all questions were being addressed to me. I had a moral duty. I did not object to that. I did not say you are departing from the uh, approved program. But I had a moral duty to respond to the questions which they had raised. The moment I started speaking, within three minutes, Irfan Habib charged towards me. And because ADC came in between, so he turned down the shirt of ADC. It is on the video. Then when ADC did not let him come near me, he went behind the sofa, came from the left side, and then in the video you can see him grappling with the security staff, who made him sit in his chair. So, if you come to, the, to defend this vice chancellor, then it becomes clear that vice chancellor himself was party to that conspiracy. And he was used by these people to invite me to Kannur. Just one example. Irfan Habib repeatedly said why he had come to, to our Congress. This Vice Chancellor did not mention even once that he had invited me to come there. Then what I will conclude? Senior people, senior, highly placed, a former Secretary of the Education Ministry told me in Delhi that we are surprised what the intelligence in Kerala was doing. We were aware that you, they have made a plan to assault you. We knew it three days before the Congress started. So what shall I presume? I shall presume that he was party to the conspiracy. So that is why I am saying that he is a habitual offender. 